Welcome back to another episode of Just Ask Jess. Uh, the question that I was asked to talk about this morning was around preparing for change. Uh, so somebody I was talking to uh, was talking to me about the fact that their organisation is going through a lot of change, some of which is not particularly clear either in terms of where they're going to end up. And she was asking, are there ways that I can prepare myself or what can I do to be kind of ready when the changes come? And that's tough, particularly when you don't know what the final end state of, of the change is going to be. Um, but there are still some things that you can do. So we know that everybody, regardless of the change that they're experiencing, goes through the same process. So spend a bit of time, look up transition curve, or you could have a look at some of the stuff that we have on our, our website. Um, we have some blog posts around transition, we also have some training programs around transition. So start to get your head around the process that you're going to go through uh, and what each stages of that process look like so you can know where you're at at any given time and know what to ask for in order to move forwards. So that's the first thing, go understand what transition looks like. The second thing I'd say is how good is your understanding of yourself? So change tends to spark us um, to respond to the things that are important to us and also the things that frustrate us. So it has a really uh, terrible habit of stomping on all those buttons that set us off. So the more that you know about yourself in terms of what's important to you, what your values are, the things that annoy and frustrate you, the more that you can anticipate the change is going to affect those things and be ready for them when they happen. So for example, if you're somebody that likes to have a lot of control, you like to have a plan, you like to list everything out, you wanna be able to tick things off, then being in a you know changing environment where things are very gray, you know that's gonna be hard for you. So recognizing that means that when you have those moments of, oh, I don't have a plan, or oh, I don't have a list for that, you at least know where that's coming from and you can generally manage that a little bit better. The last two things I'd suggest uh, are related to that. So knowing that yourself and knowing the transition curve, think now about what type of support you're going to need. So where can you go and have a good rant about what's going on? Where can you go and be truly honest about how you're feeling? Um, that doesn't mean picking somebody who's going to get into it with you and you're going to sit there and commiserate and, and be victims. It does mean finding somebody who understands you, who isn't going to be um, put off or shaken by any degree of emotion that you might share, but who's also not going to let you stay there because you don't really want someone who's going to get into bed with you and let you wallow in whatever you're feeling. So find, find your support network, identify the places where you can go for that open some support, where you know you can be transparent, but you're also going to get moved on in the process. Um, and lastly, start thinking about what skills you might want to build. So one of the things that's challenging about change is we can often feel like it's done to us and that we don't have any real control over the process. So starting to think about, okay, what might the future look like? What might be the benefit of that future? What might I be wanting to do when that happens? So what skills might I need can help you focus on taking action now that will help you later. And that can give you a better sense of control and empowerment in a changing environment situation. So those are probably the four things I'd suggest. Get familiar with the transition curve so you know what you're going to face. Know yourself so that you know what buttons are likely to be pressed and you can manage yourself a bit better. Figure out what your support network looks like and start building some new skills to help you for the future. Those are my suggestions. If you need any help with uh, dealing with change, leading change, going through change yourself, we offer a lot of different kinds of support services so please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks.